<laughs> Hold up. Hey, everybody, this is Becky. I'm going to do an impromptu interview with Rick Miller. He um, is the founder of Special Needs Magazine. <laughs> so we're going to talk about why he started and go for there. So it's all yours. Becky, thank you for... <laughs> Thanks for including me today. Obviously, you know, Special Needs Living Magazine, Akron, Canton area, surrounding. Really excited to be, you know, working with the community and putting something special together every month for this audience. It's been a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for having me today. Appreciate you. No problem. No problem. So why did you start the magazine? You know, the my vision for the magazine and why we brought this to the community here was really just the impact a, a group of really amazing, important people bring value to people and really do something very celebratory. Uh, you know, the articles, the feature stories, you know, people, individuals, families within our local special needs community, just put, put people in a magazine, put them on the cover of a magazine, tell their story, bring inspiration to others. Um, I see this magazine, this platform as a whole, as an opportunity to connect people. You know, there, there's a lot of amazing services, you know, providers, products, uh, nonprofit organizations that are helping, that are doing amazing things. And some people don't know they exist. So, so I wanna introduce them. So last, this issue here yeah. actually came out with a story about Nathan's Make me smile, make him smile. Nathaniel's hope. Nathaniel's yes. hope. Yes. Nathaniel's hope. I had smile. never heard of it. I received yeah. it two days before yeah. the activity, and yep. I actually took my son. We had a great time at. It's an amazing event. You, you know, there's a church in Hartville, Ohio, called Harvest Time Temple, that's been putting this event on in conjunction with Nathaniel's hope, and it's called Make Him Smile. Um, it's a festival, as you know. Yeah, Just we went. It was amazing. A reason to bring people together, right? Yeah. And I told them I wanted to help and, and promote that event and, and kind of co-host it with them. So we put an invite in the magazine and, and folks, there's a handful of folks just like you have come back and said, man, we never knew this event was no, here. We saw no it idea. in the magazine. And, and that is a really great snapshot of, of what I believe this magazine platform can be. You know, introduce things that no one knows that are there, but they bring a lot of joy, a lot of value, a lot of happy, a lot of help and and so you know those we want to host events like that we've got some plans coming up you know things where we just bring people together fun times uh but but that connection element is a very important piece of this to me so long answer to a short question why did we do this you know connect people inspire people celebrate people um have a lot of fun that's that's really what this is all about now you had an article on pegasus in there recently yeah, i don't pegasus know when, was it this one or the one before it's actually i think it is this one so yeah. this yeah, is, is. Yeah. let me say this is just your second issue so we launched this platform in june so july was our second issue august issues coming out in a matter of days a week or so it's it, it i think it should be hitting mailboxes end of next week um and yeah so and you're looking for advertisers as always always looking for you know sponsorship and advertising you know businesses nonprofit organizations that are are looking to build their brand with you this had an audience. ad in there for lot of love whole lot they love cafe whole lot of love yes. cafe yes. and that is a mother i believe started that business for her daughter so I, um, I'm not correct. a little bit i mean so Beth has has put this this nonprofit organization together, and they are serving as a vocational training platform okay. for um, individuals in the local uh, di uh, disability community. Uh, they are are training individuals to learn how to work. Basically, you know, if you talk to Beth, and she could tell this story far better than I. And so, if you're watching this, Beth, I'm not going to mess this up for you. <laughs> but uh, they they are bringing individuals in to teach them how to go get jobs in the public. And so how to show up on time for work, how to buy their own lunch with their own debit card, how to in interact with, with people when they need stuff. And so great organization, amazing, um, amazing people there. I, I actually came from there to this meeting with you, Becky. Okay, cool. I was there earlier today and uh, I know, you know her daughter from one of Caroline's the- Caroline's fantastic. Yeah, we know, you know her from one of the workshops we, my son was in. 
we did a neat article on them actually last month and there's pictures uh, there's a couple pictures of caroline in here but but it, you know what's cool about whole latte love is there's a couple of local business owners who came to me and said we want to support whole latte love by paying for their advertising on a oh, monthly basis how cool in the is that? Wow. So like I've had some really great local business owners that want to support the community and they see the benefit of an organization like Whole Latte wow. Love and the value they bring to the audience. Wow. So that's it's been awesome. a lot of fun. You know, thank you to those businesses <laughs> out there. I probably have about five nonprofit organizations right now that are being fully supported by local business owners in the magazine from a sponsorship standpoint. So, you know, obviously my goal for this is to introduce the right people, the best people to this audience. So from a sponsorship, branding, marketing, advertising standpoint, we're doing some really fun stuff. Um, now and this, this magazine, this issue is almost double the size of what your first issue is, isn't it? Not quite double, but it's a little bigger. And I it think as, bigger, as we yeah. go, you'll see it get a little bigger and bigger, you know, um, and, a, and a lot of that is as we figure out ways to really feature the audience and new <laughs> article ideas and new features and that kind of stuff it's going to grow from a content standpoint we add local businesses and local organizations every month from an advertising standpoint too so the combination of that it is going to grow every month and, and i see you yeah. take and you take um people that make suggestions to you i see yep. on facebook you ask for suggestions all the time yep. Yep. who would you like to see what would you like yeah. to see in my magazine yeah, yeah. and you run with that so a absolutely there's an article in the magazine with a, a qr code where we're looking for recommendations for i'd love to do a piece that would be more of like a a local i think i want to call it like local recommendations local recommended um idea i, I, I forget kind of how we want to term it but you know, the idea is to take recommendations from the community and push them out to everybody so they can see. So you got a bunch of people here online, John and Jenny, <laughs> who I know, yeah. and my friend Janet that I just tried to call that okay. partner with me on my Facebook yeah, group. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she says hi, hi. <laughs> and they're all, all watching you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nerve wracking at all. <laughs> Yeah, I see so, you dressed up for this. I see, yeah, well, because I knew this was going to happen like two minutes before, so I didn't really have a choice. But but if you know me, if anybody watching knows me, this is kind of how I go. I, I I'm kind of casual by nature. And, now, were you at um, the um, so solutions um, sharing, sharing solutions? solutions. Yeah, mm -hmm. were you at their meeting or was that your? I was not at their meeting. Okay. Mike Sturdivant, my content director. Okay. He he was at the uh, I think he was at the June meeting. And then I'm actually going to be at the August meeting to really okay, showcase I'll see, I'll the see you there. introduce it at a deeper level. Um, I met the other guy then. Okay. Yeah, you, you met Briefly. Mike there. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, coming. Uh, Jody had invited me. I had a scheduling conflict last time. Mike went in my place, but I will be at the next one. And I'm excited to kind of share with that, with that group. You know, Jody does an amazing job of helping and she sharing. Does. And um, actually, you, you you know, her organization, her company is one of those businesses that there's a local business owner providing advertising experience oh, for okay. her. And it's all because of the service that she provides. It helps so many people. Um, that business owner wanted her to be shared. And, you know, I'm excited to go and, and talk about the magazine and, and just my goal is to get it in the hands of the people that need it and get value out of it. So excited. Okay. So yeah, it was from her example of a meeting. I actually kind of started my meetings. Yeah. Um, my meeting is called Speak Up. So okay. and that's out of Portage County. Yeah. So yeah. I do that. So. Yeah, no, that's but, really yeah. cool. So it really is cool. Can you think of anything else you want to add? Uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity to build this and, and bring it to as many people. There's if you go to Facebook page, Special Needs Living Akron Canton, you know, there's links in those posts for being able to sign up to get the magazine. There's links in those posts for you to um, nominate an individual for a feature article. Um, and you said right now you have 50 people. We have we have like 50 folks that have been nominated that we haven't even gotten to yet, which is really exciting to me because um, these articles that we're doing, we'll do three, four, five articles a month. And so we're getting introduced to so many people that we can share their story for inspirational purposes, for celebration purposes. Um, it's exactly what this magazine is about. So always looking for those nominations because that I want to build this and, and share the stories and the individuals of people that are out there. Um, so nominate, uh, join the mailing list. It's a free magazine to anybody that gets it. 
there's a printed version, there's a digital version uh, hosted online. So lots of ways to get the magazine and look at it. Um, if you're a business owner, you want to uh, present your company to this audience in a really personal, meaningful way. Love to connect with you that way too. Okay. Okay. okay, we're going to leave it at that, and I will sign off. Thanks, guys.